I would like to be a pediatrician because I like children. I like to be a lawyer. A doctor, a chef, a designer, a model, and everything. I would like to thank God for making us come this far. I find the teachers really encourage the students to do their best in anything. We have the best teachers, which always motivate us to keep on striving. I screamed, and all my friends screamed together with me. They were happy for me, and I was excited. Well, hello, viewers, and welcome to a very, very special program that we are having um, with the 2010 top 10 performers of the Common Entrance Examination. And, of course, I'm excited because I've been engaging them for a long time before we got on air and so they look so so immaculate but when you really get to understand them you will know so much about St. Lucia's top 10 brain power. So what I will do is to invite them to introduce themselves. I, I rather you do it yourself because you know yourselves a whole lot better than me. So let's begin with you. Your name, where you come from, tell us all about yourself. Hi, my name is Kalisha Edwin. I'm from Consonment. I attend the Oje Combined School. I was born on December 30th, 1998. I live with my parents, my sisters and my niece. My dad is a fisherman. My sister is working with the doctor. And my favorite thing is watching television and playing on the computer. Good, let's pass it on. Another OJ. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tia Joseph. I attend the OJ Combined School. I live in OJ. My birthday is April 28th. I was born in 1999. My mom is a teacher and my father is a taxi driver. Hmm. That's all. Good, good. Now you don't have to go in the same order that everybody went to know. You can start with what your parents do first. It doesn't have it doesn't matter. Go. My name is Lavelle Ogist. Um I am eleven years old. I was born on the thirty first of August nineteen ninety eight. My mother works with Scotia Bank and my dad is a consultant and I enjoy reading and skipping and playing on the computer. Good. Hi, I am Natisha Scott. I'm 11 years old, old, born on October 18, 1998. I enjoy reading. Well, that's the thing I do the most. Yeah, and both of my parents are teachers, and that has helped me a lot in my life. Hello, my name is Leanne Charles. I attend the Dimpelet Louisi Primary School. I w was born on the 12th of April, 1999. My mother is a teacher and my father works at Bank of St. Lucia. I enjoy watching television and playing games on the computer. Hi, my name is Sarabi Gupta. I am 11 years old. I was born on December 16, 1998. I, got, I was attending Tapion Private School. I'll be going to Con St. Joseph's Convent. My father is an engineer and my mother is a doctor. I live in Kubaral Castries, San Lucia. Hi, my name is Nayuka Raymond and I'm from Monkai and Beaufort. I am 12 years old. I enjoy watching television and playing volleyball. Hi, my name is Sundar Jawire. I am 11 years old. I was born on the 1st of August, 1998. I live in Forestier. I love football. Uh, my mom is a nurse and my dad is a block plant proprietor. And I just love my life. And, and you just love your life? What, man? <laughs> I want to be like you, you know. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shania Joseph and I am 11 years old. I was born on the 25th of April, 1999. I attend the Tiroche Miku Combined School. My father is an insurance agent and my mother is a teacher. I enjoy reading and writing stories. Hi, my name is Leon Abraham. I attend the Peru Combined School. I'm 12 years old. I was born the 14th of June, 1998. My mom is a shopkeeper and my dad is a mason. 
one day I hope to become a surgeon. Uh, all right. So, you know, in the background, we are tell you something. Um, um, viewers, we have some parents in the background. Their parents are in the background, and they are just boy eager to hear what the children are saying and, and eagerly participating. I wish I could I, I could draw them in maybe at some other time, at some other point. But as you, I'm love to hear what your parents do. Interestingly, how much support did you get from your parents? I mean, up till now. Anybody? How much support do you get from your parents in your in terms of doing your schoolwork? Before common entrance, my parents always used to quiz me. They provided me with past papers and books to work from. Wow. Anybody else get to, to uh, tell me? Uh, how, how do you get? It doesn't have to go in any order, you know. Just raise your hand. Yeah. Well, my mom and my dad usually, when, since I'm, I'm not really good at essays, they usually correct my essays for me. They even assigned a special tutor for me named Philip Etienne. Um, because I was not really good at math, but now I'm good. Oh, and also they all they always tried to quiz me because they knew they knew my capabilities and they knew the question what I was low at and they'll and they'll go in that particular subject. Mm -hmm. What about your siblings? What about your siblings? That is your you my know brothers, brothers sisters. sisters. Well, um, did you ever did you have anyone that you tried to be like? Well, I'm what the oldest, so. My brother has to be like me, he's three years. He's, he's younger than you? Yes. Uh, he has to be like you, so yes. you're the eldest? Yes. Good. I'm talking about those who have to follow from, you know, after somebody else in your family. Anybody? Has anybody else who did well and you wanted to be like in their family? Any other sibling? All right. Tell me about your friends. Your friends. Who wants to tell me about your best friend? Tell me about your best friend. You're afraid to speak. Yeah. Um, well, my best friend, of course, is my dad and mom. Well, those are my best friends because they help me in every situation. And, like, they will never, um, nobody in this world other than them can support me in anything. And they will always try and make me happy. And,. Tell me that I can really do something good in my life. So I thank them for that. Wow, nice, nice. Anybody else wants to tell me about your best friend? Come on, I'm not hearing you on this side. Look at that, look at them. You tell me. Tell me about your best friend. Give, give it to her. Tell me about your best friend. Um, I have many best friends, and most of them encourage me to do my best. Um, and I really appreciate it. And I also try to help them in their weak areas. Uh, they do the same for me. So did they succeed as well? Yes. Okay. Um, who, who wants to tell me about the school that you attended? How did the school play a part in your education? Your, your teacher, the, 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 you know, the, the school itself. What do you want to tell us about your school? My school was one of the most places which encouraged me because our school, being Carmen Rene, we always want to be at the top. We want to keep our reputation. So they, start, they try to keep the students, um, they'll go into more research than probably uh, not like other teachers. For instance, they'll be with you um, longer. They'll try to make you do your best because they want, they, they want people to know that they are doing the best with their children. Mm -hmm. So they, they encouraged us a lot. They gave us many prep talks and so on. Mm -hmm. I want to hear about the other schools, particularly the schools in the south of the island because they came here both things. There are many more children from the south than the north. So let me hear the children from the south. Yes, let's start with Bellevue. Tell me about your school. My school is the best school. My school is the best. Let me go. <coughs> My school is the best school, and they provide me with activities that I can engage in to increase my learning and better my education. Good. And actually, I want you all to be salespeople here. Yeah? I want you to be selling your school so that every parent will send their child to the school that you attended. So let me hear up here. What's at the school that, should, that parents should send their children 
all children to Tapia? Uh, my school is a very nice school. It, like all other schools? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I find the teachers really encourage the students to do their best in anything. And I love the way the teachers teach. And I really thank my teacher because um, she is a very nice teacher and she teaches very good. Tell me her name. Mrs. She would like to hear that. My teacher's name is Mrs. Yearwood. And I appreciate all the uh, things she taught to me. Um, I love my school very much and I, lo even lo I even love my principal very much because my principal used to give us lessons too. So I even appreciate that. Good. Dimplet. <laughs> it's dimplet, but I like that dimplet thing. Well, I find that my teacher, she went the extra mile to give five of them, the top students in her class, extra lessons for free on the Thursdays and that really helped me a lot although other children came in. She teach she taught us very she taught us subjects that the other students did not know and I found that it came across in the exam. Mm. I like to thank her very much and I think she'll be very pleased to know that I came on the came in the top ten. I like to thank the principal for encouraging us. She always she will always have us to sit down and do extra things after school, and I appreciate that very much. Good. Now, this is the school where we're doing the recording. So let us hear about the Camille Henry Memorial School. Well, I love my school because during the years, we have aspired to be no the number one school. Well, only the little school with the less children beat us most of the time. but. Yeah, I like my school. Um, since we have a new principal, Miss Beverly Diodoni from the Dimpolet School, um, we hope to do very well in the years to come. Okay. Now we heard Carmen Rene already, you know, but, but maybe he forgot to say something. I want to thank my teacher, Miss Gustav, for always encouraging me to do my best. She has always supported me through the three terms that I have been in grade six. And um, my, my, her name is Ms. Gustav, and my, my Saturday lessons teacher, Mrs. Weeks, she has also helped me to do my best. And my kindergarten teachers, grade one and all the grades, they have also persevered with me, and I really appreciate it. Good. We're going down south now. I'd like to thank all three of my teachers, Teacher Jim, Miss Enika, and my mom, Miss Karen. They have encouraged me to do better, and they listen to you. And i like to give them a special thank you for helping me and telling me that I can when I think I can't. Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank all my teachers at OJ and especially teacher Jim. He would always, you know, tell me I can. None of you have told me about your school yet. You all just took the thing in your own direction and you told me who you all start thanking people. And you, I want to hear about your school. What is happening at your school that makes it so special? None of you did that, you know. Pierre Combined School is one of the best schools on the island. We have the best teachers, which always motivate us to keep on striving. Well, the principal, I think we have one of the best principals ever, always motivating us to keep on doing our best. And the school always tries its best to, like, like what we really want, the school will try to give it to us. Well, I hope. As we our school is one of the top schools on the island and will continue to do well in exams. Okay, now let me ask, who's, who's prepared to tell me how did you prepare for the common entrance examination? Tell us how you prepared for that common entrance examination. My mom got me a lot of past papers and she used to sit down with me 
and do them with me and she used to correct them for me and she used to ex explain all the mistakes I've made and she my teachers they used to give us a lot of homework and some projects uh, mostly about organizations and like about Elusha so then we would work hard at these things and get better. Mm. I continued playing tennis until the common entrance because my dad had told me that um, you shouldn't only study, you should play a little and tennis helps you to refresh your mind. Mm. So then I continued playing tennis but not like as so much as I used to. Like I used to play when I had time to, especially in the evenings and in the mornings and where do you play tennis at home or? yeah at home oh, okay. i have a tennis club mm -hmm. so then i really enjoyed this year especially with my teacher and i really thank every person who encouraged and motivated me to do well good somebody else tell me how you prepared okay let's say um i i, I can't get the names yet sorry mm -hmm. I prepared by doing past papers. Um, we were provided, our chairs provided us with common entrance CDs to help us prepare and to realize where, our, where we needed to improve. We did extra work at home. Our chair gave us a lot of homework and projects to do, mm. and it really helped us a lot. I'm still on the examination. I am so eager to find out your favorite subject. But in fact, what I will do is I'll take a break now. When we come back, you will tell me a little more about your favorite subject and what you did for the, for the composition, OK? So we'll take a break, and we'll be right back. Stop, listen, and learn, St. Lucia. Treat children with respect understanding and dignity. Remember, they will be the adults of tomorrow. I'm doing my part. You too can play your part. Take responsibility for creating a child-friendly society. This message brought to you by the Early Childhood Services of the Ministry of Education and Culture. Well, we're here at the Camille Henry Memorial School and we're here with the, perform the top 10 performers of the 2010 common entrance examination. Very excited, but uh, they look like they're dropping a little bit until until now that they're going to tell us what they wrote, their favorite subjects and things like that. We were having fun with the children spread around the island, um, the various schools. And of course, what we're about to do now is uh, one of the most exciting guys there in the bunch, Mr. Jawai. He's going to Sundar Jawai. Will tell us about your favorite subject and how did you? I mean, what did you write for the for the composition? Well, my favorite subject is general paper because um, I first I didn't really like English and mathematics, and in my st and for the first term, I think that's the only thing I just did. Kept on, kept, I just kept on studying through my notes and notes and notes, and I didn't really pay attention to mathematics and English and that's what that brought my grades down but um, from second term when I started realizing that I, I started um, buckling up on mathematics and English and when I realized now mathematics is my favorite subject really yeah. just like that yeah wow okay so what did you write for the for the composition you said you like to write yes well I wrote um, my what I picked was uh, it was a bright. It's, you have to we had to start a composition with it was a bright and windy morning. It was a bright and windy morning. Uh, yes. What was what happened next? Well, my I I put a topic as going to the park because I remember because I w remembered a day when my parents and myself we were going to a park and I tried and put it into an essay. So I, but I put it was a place, and uh, it was not in Saint Lucia. It was an imaginary place called Solomon's Island, and then it was a newly opened park, and it was named after the Great Sir John, and 
when we first, you know, if you go into a park, we'll first clean up. I, I first, I wrote about what we do before we went to the park. And we, we were all excited because we're going to this newly opened park. And then I wrote, we cleaned the house, we got, we got packed and things. And I wrote about how we, when we were driving, what, what expressions we had on our face and all that, because that was the first park ever opened in that isle, on that island. And we know we're not really accustomed to what was a park. So when, so when we reached there, we, we just saw this massive gate it was, and, was, and it wrote on it, um, Park of the Little Sir John. And when we went inside, we were like just astonished because we just saw green grass and because the island we were on was just, it was like desert. But it was g green grass and we saw vividly colored benches and we saw birds and we saw um, birds like the, the um, Amazon versicolor. We saw different families and, and it was like it was just new to us because we never knew it was um, it, it could have been like that. Did you have to pay to enter? No. You didn't. What time you returned home? No, I didn't write. I didn't write uh, when we returned home. I just like, for instance, I wrote. Just, we, just the park. Yeah. The time, the time yeah. Of the park. We we opened our uh, our um, big umbrella, right. and we we just had fun for the rest of the day. Yeah, chicken and what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somebody has tell me this. Very good. Um, can you? Somebody has tell me. Yes, she wants to tell us what she wrote and your favorite subject. My favorite subject is mathematics. Mm. Um, I wrote about. I wrote Why do you like mathematics so much? You like you like a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I like to count, but I'm just joking. Brain teasers. Mm. I like mathematics because the way I understood the problems, it also helped me in English in reading and comprehension, and I noticed my grades going up in literacy. Good. So tell me what you wrote for your composition. I wrote about how we can make visitors welcome to St. Lucia and what they and the benefits they have. Begin. I wrote about I wrote that they provide employment for St. Lucians and they they are like a source of revenue for the country. Good. Good. So you support tourism alone? Yes. Would you like to work in the tourism sector? I'm not sure. Not sure yet. But you think it's a good thing to welcome the visitors and to, you know, um, assist them as much as possible? Yes. Okay. Now, what would you do with the jumbies? <laughs> All the jumbies we have in town. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. All right. I want to hear from somebody else. Yeah. My favorite subject is mathematics. Right. Um, on current entrance, my topic was it was a bright and windy morning. Oh, the bright and windy morning? Uh -huh. Yeah. How did you do that? My title was Rescued in the Nick of Time. We, I went out to see my grandfather on, in his old canoe and we were, we were fishing and we realized that we will not catching any fishes, so we went further out and the calm sea started to turn rough. Mm. So the weather started to change and our oars fell out of the boat mm. and we, the current was pushing us towards some um, ominous rocks and we were Eventually, we were rescued in the nick of time. In the nick of time? Mm -hmm. Weren't you scared? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah? Can you, can you swim? Yes. Oh, well. And luckily. <laughs> but still. But still. All right. Yeah. I want to have one more person tell me. All right. All right. Well, we have two. Let me take two. These two. Yeah. My favorite subject is mathematics. And I wrote about um, a bright and windy day. Um, it started like it was bright and sunny, and then I changed the um, essay to a rainy day, like it became rainy. Um, I was going to the park 
walking to the park and then, no, to the beach, yes. I was walking to the beach and then I was enjoying myself in the water with some of my friends. And after I heard, I saw big dark gray clouds forming above the horizon. So I got scared and then I, I felt the rain rushing against my skin. And then all of my friends just ran home and then we had to stay inside and was, our day it became boring. Boring and you had to rush home? Yeah. Mm -mm. So you didn't do it all? No. Uh, did you write, did you put on the paper, poor jam? <laughs> no. Did you write that? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, what a pity. So let's hear you. Um, hmm. My favorite subject is language arts. I wrote on, it was a bright and windy morning. Everyone wrote the same thing. Oh, okay, all right. My, my title was The Stranger. I wrote. I didn't hear that. My title was The Stranger. I wrote that I was walking down a narrow dirt path, which led to my dilapidated house, and I watched a stagnant pool of water, and my attention was drawn to it. Then I felt a stranger touch me, and he was a vagrant. And the vagrant grabbed me and was pulling me into the f a nearby forest. But then I beat him. You beat him? Yes, on his Little hand. Did you? Yes, I beat him and I started run. I started to run. Oh, okay. Yes, and I reached home and I told my mother about the story. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, good. All right, now, interesting. I, I, w I wish I could hear from all of you, but we'll just hear. The next thing I want from you is your reaction to your results. When you heard that you were in the top 10, what did you do? Come on now, I need that reaction. Just as if it was the time when you got the news. Begin. Well, the Monday afternoon, a, a group of us from school stayed back until maybe minutes to six, waiting for our results. And then a friend of mine called Robin, he told me that I came, I came nine from the island. He told me not to scream, but I just started screaming scream and jumping up and out. Yes. Scream, 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 scream. Yeah. Let me hear what. Uh, come on, I'll do it. Huh? <laughs> do it, do it. Just, even though it's a little scream, let me hear. Woo, I just started screaming very loudly, and everybody began watching me. Then my mother was passing, so I went and t I told her about it, and she said she already knew because she, the teacher, and she was at the place where they was giving Were the Were you result. disappointed that your mother knew before you? No, she oh. told me, but I didn't really believe her. Oh, you didn't believe her? Yes. Imagine that, you didn't believe your mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, somebody else, tell me your reaction. Okay, well, I was playing tennis when my... Oh, here um, goes tennis again. <laughs> when um, my friend's mom came and she said um, she wanted to meet my mom. So I took her number down and, and I told her, my mom will be back in a few minutes and she'll call you back. So then when my mom like when my mom came back and she called her, she was like, What? And I was like I was like, Did something happen? And so then she was like, What? I, I well I don't really believe you and so well she didn't tell me yet. But then after a while when she like put down the phone, my principal called and she was like, Serbi came third in the island and so I think I heard it. And I heard it. so then I was really surprised. Is this true? Should I believe it? I think we should go to her school now. So then my mom told me after I heard it. And we went in the car and I was so shocked. But I didn't scream. I wanted to. But I thought, mm -mm, I shouldn't scream. Uh, so then, w because I don't really believe it yet. So then when we went to the school, like everybody started hugging me and saying congratulations, all the teachers. And when I went to the principal, she gave me such a big hug. Mm. Like I was squished, like a big teddy bear hug. Oh. So I was so happy that I got these results. And my mom even told me that it, it is an exciting thing to know, but there are more exams and things in your life. So this is just a milestone. So I was like understanding and I was still like happy. So now like a lot of people I know they congratulated me and some of them gave me gifts and they were not really special gifts they gave me gifts for convent 
So already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then I was really surprised. Wow, they're giving me gifts for convents. Okay, good. Very good. Next story. Everyone has a story. We were on a tour then. Wait, wait, wait. Where were you? On a tour. I thought you were watching wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> We were on a tour, then my teacher got a call, and when she heard that, she screamed. Then we were wondering what, what, what happened, so we asked her what happened, so then she kept on screaming and she didn't tell us. So we kept on asking her, and then she told us, when she told us, I screamed, and all my friends screamed together with me. They were happy for me, and I was excited. And you're like, yeah! Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's Mr. Man, where's that? <laughs> well, I was downstairs with my sports teacher. We were watching a football match. That was Monday. Oh, no, we were talking about a football match. That was World Cup. And then when I, went, I came, out of, uh, came out late, so when I went out, I saw a whole bunch of children just there. So I like, you're not going home. So they told me, no, but we, we're waiting for results. So I say, you're waiting for results? So then I, j I just quick grabbed the phone and called my father. I think in about 10 minutes, I saw my father there from Forest there. And then I, then I saw my mom. You see the Forest Day Highway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I saw my mom come in. I say, how you knew we were getting results? She was like, um, but my, so one of my nurse, one of my um, colleagues, she, she told me. So then we were waiting. So while we were waiting, we were playing football. Then we just heard the teacher screaming, screaming. So we didn't take that one of him because we were used to that already. <laughs> you used to the teacher screaming? Every year. Every year they scream? Yeah, for common entrance results. <laughs> All right. So then after, I remember the vehicle was coming with the results. Parents like teachers jumping up. I say, and I was freaking out like, you all don't get the results yet. Results, you'll, um, a vehicle you'll see you all jumping up. When I checked, I was... Did you say, did you, say you were freaking out? Yeah, okay. because I was like, a vehicle with results you're all jumping up for, and parents, I was shocked, because parents would not know, um, they will not know that so boy, and they like jumping up when the vehicle passed by them. Yeah. So then after a while, they said, when they were giving out the results, they said, first we'll give out the top 50 students. So then I heard different names, I heard Hillary, Kobe, Daniel, and, and some other children, and like, Where's my name? Where's my name? And that's when my heart started pounding. When they said Sundar Jawai, third on the island, I just saw a whole j bunch of children just jumping on me and saying, hey! yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you were the star? Yeah, no, actually, I was not the star. It was yeah. Lavelle, I was the star. Lavelle was the star. But after, then my parents started hugging me, and then this man just came to interview us and things like that. Okay. Okay, make your story shorter. <laughs> my mother was on the phone and I just heard her I just heard her start to scream. We can call it scream day. <laughs> I just heard my mother screaming, so I asked her what? She took a piece of paper and she wrote down number six. So I told her, What does that mean? She she and she hung up the phone and she told me, You place number six, you place number six on the island and we started hugging and bouncing around the house. <laughs> now you know I like that name for you, <laughs> number six. <laughs> Tell us quickly yours. Okay, somebody else. Um. On the day of results, I waited in the school for to hear the results. Then the teacher told us we'll hear it the next day. So I went at my home. After some time, I was playing cricket. Then. My teacher stopped by my mother's shop and went to tell my mother my results. Then I heard my mother start to scream. I said, what? Then after some time, the teacher comes. She tell me my results. I was batting. I just dropped my bat and I run inside the shop. I was dropping up and down, telling my mother. And I started hugging my mother and telling her, yes, I made it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, the day of results, my sister and I were anxiously waiting. And then we heard my mother on the phone, and then she was saying yes, yes. And we asked her, and she said, I placed 10th on the island. And then I was screaming, and all of us were very happy, and we popped champagne. Pop champagne, <laughs> boy. All right. When I got my results, I was with my aunt and cousin. 
and my aunt told me, my father had called my aunt and she had told me my result. I was very happy, but at the same, but since at the same time I was shocked. So I went to meet my father and he called my mother and I couldn't keep the phone by my ear because she was screaming so loud. <laughs> so I was very, I was amazed that I came six. Okay, hold the mic straight up. Uh, yeah? I was shocked. Okay. I was walking into the, my school gate and then some of my friends just approached me and started screaming and hugging me and I was like, what's going on? And they said, you came first on the island. I was like, yeah, right. I didn't believe them. I thought they were joking or playing a prank on me. So I went up to um, my class and then I heard Mrs. Weeks' vehicle coming up from the gates and then everyone was screaming, screaming. And after they gave out the results and I looked at it and then I told them, sorry, I didn't believe you. Then I, I cried, I screamed, I jumped up, I did everything. Interesting, you cried. That's the only person who said they cried, eh? All right. What about you, Leanne? I'm Natisha. Kadisha, sorry. Natisha. Sorry. All right, that's why I'm trying to avoid calling names, you know. All right, go ahead. Well, my teacher and some of my classmates, they just went running up the stairs. So I didn't know what was happening, but I followed them. And then I heard Natisa came first on the island, along with a girl from Carmen Rene. And then I just started to cry because I was so happy. And my teacher was comforting me. And all the children were around me saying, like, congrats, congrats. And I was like, I was crying so much I couldn't really say anything. You cried too? All right. While you have the microphone, tell me about Have You, you told us already. Yeah. While you have the microphone, I'm Kadisha. Tell, oy, oy, oy. Sorry about that, my dude. Um, tell us about your career option. I want to know what you would like to pursue when you get older. I would like to be a pediatrician because I like children, but at the same time, I don't think I'll be able to handle the daycare work because it looks like a lot of work. And uh, I've always wanted to be a doctor from preschool. On career day, we dressed, I dressed up as a doctor, mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed it. So since you still want to be a doctor, what other specialty? If you say you don't want to handle children and, and all of that anymore? No, I want to. Oh, you want to? Yeah, I okay. want to be a pediatrician. So you don't want to be a surgeon or anything like that? Not really, but maybe I might have to operate on a child, I'm not sure. Okay, good. Well, we're there, we're talking about the career options for those young, young little ones, St. Lucia's brain power. We'll be right back with much more from them. Stay tuned on NTN. Hi, I'm Glenn Simon. I know that valuing my children today will determine the future of society. I am playing my part. You too should play yours. Take responsibility for creating a child-friendly society. This message brought to you by the Early Childhood Services of the Ministry of Education and Culture. Well, we're here at the Camille Henry Memorial School with the St. Lucia's Top 10 Brain Power. That's what I call it. The, st the top 10 students who've performed um, at the 2010 Common Entrance Examination. I needed to mention that one of the students but it's supposed to be 11. One of the students, I think it is um, JC Dalson from the Bonte Primary School, is not here, I, I don't know why, but he also performed very well. He's amongst the top, top 11. We kept saying top 10, but he's, he's not here as well. Um, we were talking, before we took the break, we were talking about your career options, what you would like to pursue, what career you would like to pursue. Go right ahead. Well, when I grow up, I'd like to be a lawyer. You don't have enough here yet? <laughs> overseas. Not oh, here. overseas? Yes. Ah, no, tell yeah. us why. Why you choose law? Well, I just, since I like language arts, I really liked being a lawyer because language arts has to do with lawyer and stuff yeah, like to that. To be able to use language to 
to to pursue it and yes. you know to all right good good i hope you you will be my lawyer <laughs> all right let's hear you when i grew up i like to be a professional tennis player and professional tennis players they like retire really early like about age 32 and 33 because they cannot ha the body cannot handle so much Thing, these like these things running and these things mm -hmm. so then after I become a professional tennis player I would maybe be a tennis coach or I might be a doctor um, specialty in eyes okay so uh, ophthalmology ophthalmology yeah. all right good um, by the way, when you when you when you when you become the professional tennis player, yeah. you will you will be playing for Saint Lucia. Yeah, Saint Lucia and India. And I didn't want you to say India. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm just teasing you. Good. Which part of India are you from, by the way? Bombay. Give it back to her. Give it back to her. From I'm where? from Bombay. Bombay. Yeah. Bombay. All right. When I grow up, I would like to be a model. A model? Mo yeah. Yeah. Tell me about that. And stand up and do your thing for me. <laughs> stand up and do it. Hey, give me a little sign. Give, give me a little sign. Just, just give me a little walk. Come on. A little. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Good. Why do you like modeling? Because I see the models on the TV. They look so so they look so good and I want to be just like them. I really thought you wanted to be a wrestler. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I plan on being a professional footballer. It's because I love football and it's also a fast way of making money. I say you like your money, boy. <laughs> a fast way of making money. All right, a professional. Yes, millions. But millions? Yeah. But where would you like to, where, I mean, you, you know these opportunities are not available here in St. Lucia. Yeah, um, oh. our plan played for Chelsea FC, um, mm. that's in England. Mm. Uh, but before, before football, I'm sure you'd want to, you know, improve yourself academically. In terms of, you know. Well, I was planning on getting a PhD, but they told me it was about seven years. Mm. Was, it did take too long to make some money. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Well, I'm very undecided, but I plan to be a professor in whatever field that I by, that I may become interested in when I grow older. Professor. Yes. You like teaching. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. When I grow up, I'd like to be a surgeon. Since I find the body very fascinating, and there's so much to learn about it. Mm. And I, I chose to become a surgeon because I say like, and to save people's lives, to be a hero. Hero? <laughs> All right. I'll stay around for you to save me. <laughs> <laughs> All right? When I grow older, I want to be a chef because I like cooking. That's all? <laughs> come on, come on, what kind of food? I mean, I'm sure you have foods that you like. Well, I like chicken <laughs> and macaroni. Uh-huh. <laughs> what about fish? Why I is, don't like why fish. Why the youngsters don't like fish? Fish is, I mean, fish has a lot of protein and it's a lot. Everybody's behind chicken, 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 all right. Mm. When I grow up, I want to be a pediatrician. Right. right. Although my parents, well, my father think I should be, thinks I should be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. I. But yeah, I'm not decided. But. But, but I. But you want to be a pediatrician. Uh, yeah. Why? I love health science. After maths comes health, because. Mm. One of my favorite right. subjects. Okay, okay. Alright. When I grow older, I would like to be um, a doctor 
a chef, a designer, a model, and everything. <laughs> you, are you serious? Yes. All right. Uh huh. And I know you are capable of doing all of that. <laughs> all right. So how do you? How will you manage all of that? I have no idea. You have no idea. Nope. But which is your favorite? Um, a pediatrician. Why? I love children. You love children? Do you have brothers, sisters? Yes. How many? I have two brothers and a sister. Mm, do you take care of them when they're sick? Um, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> now, you know what kind of means? No. <laughs> uh, has any one of you had a, a really bad experience that you do, you, you'll never forget? I don't want it from everybody, just one person, something that you will never ever forget, a bad experience. I've been lost before in England at Blue Water and it was very scary for me because it's such a big place and I'm, I'm there by myself, so little, yeah. Mm, okay, anybody else has a bad experience you want to share? As an experience that you will never ever forget. Okay. I was walking in the garage and I had to untie the dog for a while to, so he could do whatever he needed to do in the grass. So then he went at the back of the house and then he started running towards me. And I, well, I stood there watching him and then he just bumped into me and I started to bleed. And I was unconscious for a while. So then, um, after a while, when I woke up, I went in the house and my mom was shocked and even my babysitter. So then they started cleaning me up and I didn't really like it. I had a lot of pains and I was hurt very badly. And my dog had ran away, so he didn't come back for a long while. But then, so I felt very sad and then he came back. Oh, good. That was a very bad experience. Bad experience. So, I want a good experience from somebody now. Some wonderful experience you will never, ever forget. Who's going to, one on this side and one on this side? Who's going to, who? Should I select one on this side? And let it be, let it, let it be, let it be. The day I placed six on the island. The day you placed? Six on the six island. Six on the island. Good, okay, fine. Somebody else. On that side, let it be... Let it be, let it be you, you, yes, let it be you. Uh, the first time I went to Disney World. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. I, I haven't been there, so I want to know. I don't remember much because I was young. Mm. So it was the first time I had been to Orlando, Florida as well. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, now tell me about, I want you to tell me what you think. Uh, you all are young people growing up in St. Lucia, or the future is ahead of you. People like me are on the other side. Um, I want you to hear your thoughts on family. Yeah, very quickly, I want you to hear your thoughts on one of them. You must choose one, whether you want to speak on family, how important is family life in St. Lucia, or sport. I know uh, we have two sports people here. Maybe you should speak on something else, but speak for a very short while on leadership. You know the importance of leaders in the country, whether it is political leaders, church leaders, in the communities, leaders. I want you to talk about crime or environment. The environment, or you can choose to speak on the church, your spiritual development speak on the church, how important is the church in your life, or education, or business, or technology. Any one of these, up to you, but choose one. You want me to repeat it? Should I repeat? Okay, the topics are family, sport, leadership, crime, environment, church, education, business, technology. Go right ahead. I think family is the most important thing in a child's life. Without family, 
your life would be just messed up. Pass it on, pass it on. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to speak on? Well, family, I think a family is the most important thing in a child's life because if the family wasn't there to support the child financially and emotionally, the child wouldn't be able to do so well and succeed. I hope everybody knows going to choose their family. Mm -hmm. uh, the family is um, very important. It's the most important thing in a child's life and in society. Um, a family is there to support you and it encourage you to do your best. And um, someone without a family may be sad or they might not do as well as someone with a family. Uh, I want to speak about crime. I think the level of crime in Tunisia is way too high. People are scared to walk on the streets and I for one, I'm, I'm scared to walk in car streets sometimes. I like keep away from Grass Street and Marsh and all these places because I'm really scared and most people they like kill some of them are innocent but others like they're really guilty and they escape so I don't think that's fair to those who are really innocent for them to die yeah that's right. good I like to talk about education when I was in the class with the, my classmates, my teacher always says that people in life can take away everything from you, your home, your money, everything. But the one thing that they cannot take away from you is your education. They can never take away your papers and if you have your degrees, they can never take away from you. So you can su succeed in life with education. Well, sports, um, without sports in this world, it would be like nothing because walking, running, even sometimes talking is a sport. And sports are very, sports keep you healthy, especially when you run. And even when you talk, because when you talk, it improves your face and um, stops you from getting freckles and these things. So um, I think sports is a very good thing in life. Thanks. I choose technology because technology has increased the way in which we live. Although it has made environmental problems worse, but I still think it's good in our lives. Well, I'll choose spirituality because if it wasn't for God, I don't think any of us would be here because when they, if they, when they asked, uh, when they asked us what was what were, what helped us, we all said it was prayer. It was prayer, and um, so I would like to thank God for making us come this far. And I like to say that we all, all of us, should put God first. Uh, we can, we can put families, but we need to put God first because it was God who who provided the families. Good, leaders, good leadership is essential in the family, the society, and everywhere because without leaders, um, without leaders, societies, families, they might, they might be disordered. So good leaders are important. Mm -hmm. Good. Finally. I'd like to talk about the family since it's the most important thing in our lives. Well, families can determine your future depending on the way they raise you. So I'd say if one for them, you wouldn't be successful in life as we are right now. And families, like they keep you out of trouble and make sure everything is right with you, always ensuring that you're all right. So I'd, I'd like to thank all the families. Well, I would like to thank you, all of you, for participating and making this program such a wonderful, such a refreshing program for the people of St. Lucia. And maybe the world, the entire world, looking at, at you, listening to what you have to say. Trust me, I believe you all have made a difference. St. Lucian brain power. I wanted to end with, with you t telling everybody, watch NTN. The, boy, they can't go wrong. Say something now. 
MCN is our favorite channel. Watch NTN now. Thank you very much. And you have to watch NTN to see yourself. Thank you, St. Lucia, and enjoy.